So I've either known Ellie or known of her since the late 90s, and I would hear about Ellie frequently as one of the up-and-coming admired leaders. She started the company as a process engineer, and uh, she carried on, and she's always had that process expertise in mind. This has led her to drive many different product successes. Her passion uh, and her energy and drive, I think, are really probably what just keeps her going. She is really, really good at executing and getting stuff done. And she has a long history in applied of developing many, many successful products. And you can tell from the way she goes about it. She really drives very hard, uh, very committed, very hardworking, and uh, has a lot of good ideas. And in fact, she's got a bunch of patents. If you looked at the top patent holders in the company, Ellie's name would come up. Over the years, I was always given problem to solve. First, there were just product problems. Then they start giving me business unit that were in trouble and need new products and strategy to win. Some of these opportunities were considered career suicide. Um, but each time I was able to build a great team to tackle the technical problems and to build product solution to help our customers and grow the business. If I look back at her career it has, I think, really trailblazed for many of us in the industry. Being in the industry for over two decades is a huge accomplishment, and she's been able to endure that despite all of the changes in the industry, all the changes in the technology, all the changes in this company and the, in the organization, and the changes in her role. Um, she has not only been able to survive through all that, but has thrived and has really continued to learn and grow. What is great about this industry is that it is a team sport. We all depend on each other to win, and when we look at a problem, I'm just like another engineer in the team trying to solve the problem. But I also am responsible for setting higher level direction for priorities, objectives, and vision. Because we're such a global company in 18 different countries, it gives many of our employees the opportunity to develop and grow. She's been able to not only learn in this industry from many of the talented people that we have in the company, but she's also been able to learn by teaching and to learn by doing. She actually also took time to pull together a training manual to help and coach her junior engineers. Even today, I think, is one of the best that we've seen in terms of a training guide. How do you induct an NCG? Uh, or a new college uh, graduate into the, into the company. What kind of training methods, where do you need to go, what do you need to do? In the last couple of years, I have opened myself up to women engineers in the company so that they can come pick my brain about life experiences and career advice. I think I have seen enough and experienced enough to be able to help them. In the semiconductor industry, the technical challenges come like a clockwork every two years. So we're always on our toes, working on the next problems and next solution. Now, looking back, I enjoy each of the challenge to put the puzzles together. You work very hard, and sometimes you win, and sometimes you lose. And after you've done it for a while, you learn what to do and what not to do. It has been very fun for me, and I love what I do.